Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm really glad you decided to check out my channel. This video is part of a series that I'm going to work on over the next 10 to 12 months or so to take you along on my journey of building our family cabin. I would love to share future videos with you, so if you want to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, that'd be awesome. Hi, and welcome back to our cabin building journey. This particular video is about clearing the land and preparing the space to build a storage shed first, and then eventually our cabin. After many discussions with my wife, uh, we came to an agreement that we could save close to $20,000 by uh, buying our own backhoe and clearing our own land and doing a lot of the work ourselves instead of hiring someone else to do it for us. We did end up finding a 2007 John Deere in Ontario and had it shipped down to New Brunswick for about 1500 bucks. Our plan entailed building the shed and then later on the cabin with as small a budget as possible. Now, we knew buying a backhoe and doing the work ourselves would add a lot of extra time and work to the project, but we knew that it would give us a lot of freedom without having to permanently tie up tens of thousands of dollars if we sold our backhoe afterwards. Another thing we needed was a good wood chipper. Now, some people just burn the branches of the cut down trees, but uh, because I was planning to do most of the clearing in the uh, middle of the summer, I knew that the local fire bands would uh, make it quite difficult to reliably burn the wood. So I found myself a 40 year old 200 horsepower wood chipper on Kijiji for 1200 bucks and fixed it up. Uh, that process took me about two weeks in July and I've documented it uh, in a few dedicated videos on my channel. So I'm not going to spend uh, a lot of time talking about the wood chipper in this video. But if you're interested in this 40 year old beast, I'd love for you to check out those videos. I'll uh, put the links in the description. Before I could start to actually cut down trees, uh, I had to do a lot of measurements, planning and research. The most challenging part was to find the perfect location that would uh, work with the power lines, the driveway, the septic system and uh, also the terrain of the land. I even get, ended up getting uh, certified for septic system installations in the process, but uh, I'll touch on that a little bit more in a future video. Once we had uh, decided on the final location of the cabin and had received all the permits and approvals, I finally got to start cutting down trees. The location where I started was approximately where we wanted to put the cabin in the first video there. It was uh, definitely slow going at first because there was just simply no room. Uh, but as the, uh, the cleared area grew bigger, maneuvering the backhoe and the wood chipper became easier and easier. So I'm going to show you some footage of uh, felling trees, chopping off branches and uh, all the other work that was involved with clearing the land. Overall, it took me about two and a half months or so to clear an area big enough to start building the storage shed and the driveway. Here's the big rock and I piled up all this wood and then all these branches. This is higher than me, probably 10 feet tall. And this is the last tree that I cut down probably for today.
so this is how far I got. I got uh, most of the trees cut down. There was three really big ones. They went all the way up there. And uh, now I got all the, all the branches back there. And uh, all I got to do now is put it through the chipper. And I'm going to go home. Man, this is a lot of work. But uh, it's starting to look really nice. It looks so different here. I really hope you liked this video and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would love for you to do so and uh, follow along with me on this journey of building your family cabin. Anyways, I'm uh, Chris of All Trades. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.